So we gotta talk about this because Facebook just launched music revenue sharing. This means that you can now make money from your videos that use licensed music. So I'm gonna break it all down for you in this video so you know exactly what to do. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Lester Diaz and in this channel we talk about making money with social media, building an online business. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. Okay, so Facebook recently announced that they're launching music revenue sharing. And what this is, is basically allowing you to monetize your videos on Facebook with licensed music. Now, keep in mind that before this announcement, it was really hard to monetize any video that had licensed music. So my overall opinion for this was to never use any license or any type of music in your videos because you might get hit with a copyright violation and most likely your videos would not get monetized. But in an effort to bring more creators to make content for Facebook, Facebook has released this licensed music sharing revenue program where basically now you can select specific songs or uh, specific samples from licensed songs that you'll find inside your creator studio and now you can add them to your videos and still get monetized and not get hit with any violations. As of making this video, this is only available for monetized pages, meaning that if you have access to instruments, if your videos are already monetized inside of Facebook, you can use licensed songs. And I wouldn't advise you to use like a whole minute of a song, perhaps, you know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds at most, um, if you really have to. Now, keep in mind that if you do use any licensed songs from this library that Facebook has made available, you will only earn about 20% of the revenue um, of that video. So if you wanna keep 100% of the revenue that that video makes, then you might want to avoid any type of songs or copyrighted music um, because if you do, um, basically Facebook gets to keep about 60% of the revenue generated by that video. So only use licensed music if you really have to because like I said, you only get to keep about 20%. So like I said, this is only available for monetized pages that have access to instruments. So if you have a violation, you might not get access to this. However, if you are monetized and you wanna find out which licensed music you can use for your videos now, you can go to Creator Studio, go to file management and then find licensed music and you'll find a complete list of all the different songs that you can use for your videos. And no, this is not available for Facebook Reels right now. So that means you cannot use this licensed music for creating Facebook Reels. You can only use this for three minute videos, you know, videos longer than 60 seconds that you can monetize with Instagram ads. And I do believe that over the next few months, uh, this is gonna change and most likely Facebook is going to allow you to also monetize Facebook Reels with licensed music. The main takeaway from this guys is that now you have less chances of getting a copyright violation or getting demonetized on your videos because you're using um, small samples from a copyrighted or licensed song. So I would say if you're planning to use licensed music um, in your videos, keep it at a low, like I said, 15, 30 seconds at most. Remember, you will only be making about 20% of the revenue of that video. And if you're not monetized on Facebook or you want to learn about how to get monetized and make money from videos on Facebook, I have a ton of videos on my channel, exactly how to get monetized on Facebook, how to get the followers, um, how to reach the requirements, all of that is 100% free in my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe if you guys wanna see more content I'm talking about making money with social media. And also if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to actually build, grow, and monetize Facebook pages, go ahead and check out Facebook Income School in the description below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like button below. Thank you very much once again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.